What's up, everybody? I'm back again. JP's success. Let's go. I'm here to pick up an Ascalado today. Look, fish. I absolutely love this store. Let me browse around a little before I grab my Ascalado. Take a look at these extraordinary Wyoming white clownfish. This aquarium looks a little messy, but I see some beautiful cichlids. You probably cannot see those, but those are Oscar fish. Everyone check out these cichlids. Now let's journey to the back of the store and take a look at their 175 gallon aquarium. They always have it loaded with very interesting fish. They always have so many aquariums for sale. Look, FX. Saltwater fish. Check out these saltwater fish. They keep all the saltwater fish up front and the cichlids in the rear of the store. I, I think she's ready. Let's go grab this Ascalado. They're similar, don't they? That fish is bigger. Then he's even bigger. But then you have this. I think we did sell that one yesterday. It was my last albino. So we go small, medium, large. But these are the same price, so if you want to get your money for it, you might one. get the medium one. Yeah, I'll take it the medium one. It looks very healthy, too. Yeah, let's take the medium one. Okay. That'll be a great. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's all feisty when I go to catch him. He was just froze. Yeah, <laughs> He's smart, isn't he? He's right where to go. Uh -huh. I better get out of there. I need to get you. I wonder if I could just get him to swim in the bag. That would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably not happening. <laughs> that would have been neat if I could just scoop him up. It kind of looks like it's going to work. Yeah, oh, I got you got him. him. I got him. I just don't want to stress him with the net. So that worked out. Stay in there. <laughs> All right. Sweet. I'll show you what those pellets look like. So we have the smaller pellets for ones that size. I think he would like that rather than when he gets bigger, you can come in and get the bigger pellets. Okay, I'll take the smaller ones. They're both the same price. So, yeah. Okay, cool. Today I'll be using this white quartz sand. It looks amazing and it may help to reduce the built above ammonia. It also is great for aquarium plants. Ascalados do best in cool or room temperature water. The ideal water temperature for Ascalados is between 60 to 64 degrees Fahrenheit. If the water temperature is higher, it may stress your Ascalado and lead to anorexia and infections. You may need to add a chiller to your aquarium to keep your tank within the ultimate temperature range. Before we continue, everyone do me a huge favor and hit that like button. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Ascalados do produce a lot of waste, so you are going to need a filter. I've chosen to go with this sponge filter for this setup today. This filter traps waste particles and improves water clarity. It also filters water without trapping small fish. 
With this filter, you also will be needing a air pump, my friends. Go ahead and hook the air pump up to the filter and voila, it's ready. Let's go with living plants. They will increase the production of bacteria in my new aquarium. They also re will remove carbon dioxide from the water. They add oxygen to the water and they clarify the water. Yuck. Hmm, yeah, let's grab this leaf zone. I would like to make sure my plants stay nice and healthy. Aspilados love to hop. So today, I'm picking up these two tubes from Lowe's. $2 a piece, can't beat it. Maintaining the correct water condition is vital to your Aspilados health, well being, and longevity. Aqua Central. Leaf sown for the plants. And last but not least, some beneficial bacteria. Aquarium is now cycling. Check it out, everyone. Now, before I add my Ascolado, I will be condoning four tests. pH, ammonia, nitrate, and nitrite. I'll be using this freshwater test kit by API. Let's dip the test tubes, break out the chart, and here's our results. Oh yes, it looks like we are ready for our Ascolado. Let's go. Let's get our Ascolado acclimated. Now we'll be changing the hood because Ascolados do not like a lot of light. I'll be adding the cage just to ensure you don't jump out. Make sure you do not add the bag water. Gently net the Ascolado out of the bag and place them into the aquarium. Oh yeah, check them out. It's the Mexican salamander, better known as the axolotl. They also call this the walking fish. Look at this dude, he's chilling. <laughs> Axolotls are slow moving and docile amphibians. They are mostly, mostly active at night. They also have filament lined gills that stick out from the back of their necks. Look at him all alone inside of this huge tank. I think I'm going to name him Uno. My friends, Ascolados have the ability to regrow any body part. They can regenerate the same limb hundreds of times. Now, if you have an Ascolado, you should feed it daily. Ascolados eat blood worms, earthworms, shrimp, frozen brine shrimp, Ascolado pellets, small fish, and adult Ascolado can do just fine for up to two weeks without food. Let's go ahead and feed him the food I picked up from JP Success. Go ahead, eat up, my friend. Ooh, he got it. Yes. I went ahead and replaced the hood with the cage. This will help keep my Ascolado nice and cool. Check out my little fancy bubbler over here. That will also help remove heat. An Ascolado is a friendly, interactive, aquatic pet that will give you years of enjoyment if kept properly. Well, it looks like this is the end of this video. I'd like to thank everyone for checking out my very exquisite Ascolado.
Thank you for watching, and don't forget to fill your life with adventures.